We're going to look at the anatomy of a defender. A defender is actually, every piece of the defender is part of the weapon system itself. As you can see here, we're going to talk about the front striking surface first. This particular technique is known as the bonk. You're using the Defender 1 and its kinetic energy. It's all in the wrist there. As you're striking bony areas, it causes huge amounts of pain. Because it's such a small surface area at the head of the Defender 1 that it's striking and it's concentrating all the energy into the bony structures. If you hit soft tissue, it doesn't work. But boy, when you hit bones, it really, really hurts. As, as I'm showing here, you can hit elbows, for example. Any bony protrusion, hand, back of hands, fingers, heads, uh, it actually stuns them. This gentleman's name is Be Real Dave, and he takes a beating. But anything coming at you, you can strike. Again, any grabs that, that people grab you, you can hit them. Also, if people are punching at you, you can let them run into this tool and that hurts a lot. You can uh, guide their hand into the tool uh, with your left hand in particular. It also stops kicks the same way. The next part of the Defender one that is really unique is the point and we're going to show some clips here. Uh, the point is incredible because like a counter to a grab here I just move that point onto that arm and the pain just drops CJ like a rock. That point hurts so bad. Here's Be Real Dave coming in for a choke and placing it, uh, in this case, at his elbow, the crook of the elbow. Easy to reach the time before I got it in the back of the neck. Here, again, I'm moving him in close to me with the point because it hurts so bad at the crook of the arm. That will allow me then to push him off. In this case, I'm attacking a carotid artery with the top part of the Defender 1 but it does great, just ejects your opponent away from you quickly. Look at Dave's face. He goes, oh my gosh, you know. And in this particular case, the infamous triangle choke, uh, rear choke here, rear naked choke, you pull the choke off with that point and can do an arm bar. Here I'm attacking the back of the leg from that particular choke as well, which is really hurts a lot, and you just rip along that inside of that thigh and they don't want anything to do with you. They completely forget about what they were doing because the pain is so intense. Then of course you can come in and do a digit capture or whatever you want. Again a little bit more in slow motion this time reaching around to get a hold of them. You want to make an airway there and then of course come in with that point and rip up through the leg and they will let go. They usually scream first and then they let go. But here I'm showing of course the placement of the particular Defender 1 point on the inside of that thigh. Now here I'm showing a escape from a headlock actually attacking again the inside of that thigh and pulling them up and down and using the point right in that calf area pinning them and you can see Be Real Dave is uh, tapping there pretty quickly. Um, also use the pummel end, which we'll discuss a little later. can cause lots of pain as well. And, and of course, step on their ankle. That's always good. Next up is the tissue points, or the little grooves at the top of the defender. Basically, they attack soft tissue, as you're going to see here. You hold the tool with your th own finger through the hole first and with your th opposing thumb on those tissue teeth, you can grab soft tissue ears, in this case lips, noses. Oh boy, I tell you what, you get a hold of a nose like that, you got something. You want pressure on both sides, as I'm going to show here, squeezing that nose into those sharp tissue teeth. And once you have somebody like this, uh, they'll go anywhere you want. The next piece of the Defender we're going to look at is the rear edge. Every piece on the Defender, as we said before, is a weapon, part of the weapon system. Here I'm going to use it to get a hold of Dave's ear. Ouch! By placing the tool, that rear edge, which is uh, somewhat sharp on the back side of his ear, and capturing his ear between the edge and my palm, 
and squeezing you can really maneuver Dave around easily as you'll see in just a minute and then I'm going to add a clip from one of our intro discs right about now which you'll see a combination ah! <laughs> How'd that feel? Ah, in his arm. <laughs> the next area we're going to look at is the digit capture hole. One of the unique features of a defender is the fact that if you can in get a hole of a digit, a finger, a thumb in this case, um, you have so much leverage you can do all of your normal martial arts stuff or just crank away and you can see people will do anything when that thumb is captured like that. The um, It's not that hard to capture thumbs believe it or not. This way we're showing here uh, you actually roll the tool across the cuticle and it pops right up in there and of course once you've got a hold of them again you can move them around easily. The next piece of the weapon system, known as the Defender, is the pummel, which is the bottom end of the tool. And here I'm striking the top of the hand. It's an extremely good striking piece of the tool. You can strike, obviously, good bony areas. Back of hands is shown here, as well as any other bony area. Hands, head, temples. You have a plethora of opportunities to use the pummel to really damage your attacker and get yourself out of a bad situation. One of the last features of the Defender, or all the Defender line actually, are these two holes at the bottom of the pummel and they are used for a lanyard which attaches to a quick release hook and showing here, as you can see, the hooks don't come with the uh, tool, uh, but the lanyards uh, can be purchased, and they're a great way to carry and deploy your defender. As shown here, it hangs at my side, just about the length of my arm, and can break apart over a thousand times, deploy quickly, and use. That's the defender lanyard. <laughs> <laughs>